All right, okay, today's notes 1 8, the last set of notes before the test tomorrow. The review will be up online uh, as well as the answers. If you want to go back on and look at any other stuff, try the review, then compare your answers to the answers. If you feel comfortable with all the lessons all the way through today's, then you don't have to worry about the review. Just show up with your notes and take the test tomorrow. Okay, so this is a pickup of last week. Last week we were uh, finding intersections. Okay, this is absolute value, and we're gonna be still finding intersections through this. First off, first thing we wanna do, okay, before we do anything, is take our calculator and clear out anything the other class had in. So I, I start up y equals, hit clear, hit clear, now, so that we all have the same window, we're going to hit zoom, and we're going to do zoom standard. Okay, it's a standard zoom, or viewing window, standard viewing window, which is a 10 by 10. Okay, so now, standard viewing window, 10 by 10, this guy right here. Where are we looking at? Evan was here. Shut up. Okay. Now, in Y1, we are going to put absolute value of X. In Y2, we're going to put 3. Okay. We want to know when the absolute value of X is equal to 3. So we crank up handy dandy. We go to Y equals. We need absolute value. It is located in the math menu right under the alpha key. Out of the green alpha key, we hit math. We're going to arrow over one time to numbers. And it's the first one, absolute value, ABS. Okay, put in X. Then you have to get out of the absolute value. Go ahead and hit graph. And we see that it is a V going right through the origin. We'll talk about slope and the steepness of that and shifting and all that kind of stuff in the next unit. But we just want a little rough sketch. So sketch. Okay. Next up, we're going to put into Y2, we're going to put in three. Graph it. And I see clearly how many intersections are there? Uh, one. Nope. How many intersections do y'all see? Two. Oh, two. There's two. two. There's one there and one there. Okay, so once I have that graphed, I find I've got two intersections. Okay, so if this was my number line, that would be right here on my number line. We've got to find both of those intersections. So, just like last week, finding intersections. Second trace. Number five for intersect. Enter, 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 enter. enter. It's going to go to the closest one or the one it chooses, and it chose the one on the right, which is x equals what? Three. Okay, so my x value is three. If I were to repeat that process, second trace, intersect, enter, 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 it is not going to go to the other one. Because my calculator will always choose the one that the cursor is closest to. So I have to actually move it. So second, trace, intersect. Take your little cursor guy, move it over to the other side. It's somewhere over there close. Hit enter three times. And it tells you x is negative three. So I have two different answers. It is going to be equal to 3 when x equals negative 3 or when x equals positive 3. Either one of those, when put into absolute value for x, would come out as a positive 3. Okay. Let's take a look at number 2. So we go y equals... Clear, clear, okay, practicing putting in our absolute value again. So it's the math menu underneath the numbers, or the alpha key. Go over to number, absolute value is number one. This one is one half x. One half, we said to get to one half, you do what to make a fraction? 
alpha y equals, the way most of y'all like to do it, 1 over 2, get out from under it, x minus 3. Graph it. And it's a flat line shifted over, or it's made it more flat and shifted over. Okay, that's because the slope just got changed. We'll talk more again on the next unit. But it's still a V. If I were to zoom out, it's still a V. Okay? So it looks like this. Okay? Oh, and Y1, absolute value of 1 half X minus 3. And Y2, I put 5. Okay, ready to graph the second half. So, oh snap. So I gotta put mine back in. I accidentally get clear. Is that the five? Yep, you're gonna put five in Y2. I see that when I do that, I'm only seeing one intersection. However, we know it's a V, so we know there's going to be another one. Okay, so we go ahead and graph it. Flat line at five. Whoa. So one's going to be here, and we'll have one out there somewhere. So if I went second, trace. Number five for intersect. Enter, enter, enter. Tells me the one that it can see, which is? Four, negative four. Negative four. Just do the graph and then. And then we gotta zoom out to get to the other one. So we have to zoom. You have to scroll the. Out, number three. Let it do its thing. And then like you were saying, you have to scroll once I get it on there. Oh. So I gotta go second, trace, Intersect, we got to take our little cursor and move it over to this side close to that intersection. X equals 16. And enter, 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 and you said what? X equals 16. X equals 16. Oh. So X equals negative 4, or X equals 16. Okay. Move it on to number three. First half, absolute value of three X minus seven. Second half is negative two. Take our handy dandy. We wanna go ahead and so we all look alike. Let's go ahead and hit zoom. Standard number six. And that gets us back to our 10 by 10 window. Let's let that just finish graphing and then we'll clear it out. So Y equals clear, clear. All right, now go to your math menu, arrow over numbers, number one for absolute value. This one's three X minus seven. Enter, graph it. It's gonna be a little steeper graph, okay, because our slope is steeper on this one. So we gotta go. You have the same one? Right there? Yeah, just uh, Right here. Mm -hmm. Y equals? Oh, never mind. Okay. All right. In Y2, I'm going to put negative 2, and look what happens. Does it intersect? It doesn't intersect. So it's a flat line at negative 2. Does not intersect, so that one there would not have any intersecting answers. So I would put no, so no intersection. I put no solution. solution. Oh, I heard that. Good answer, Amy. Good job, Amy. Good try, Amy. Oh, good try, good try. Uh, it's like Family Feud when they say good answer, and it's really a horrible. Really good answer, Amy. Good answer, Amy. Yeah, yeah. Good answer, Amy. All right, now we're into inequalities. Number four. But we got a little quick, easy way of doing this. What do you notice about number four and number one? 
Same thing except to inequality. So all I gotta do is just redo this guy over here with the same numbers. So absolute value of x and three goes there. And then it goes. And then. And open or close circles. It's gonna be um, open because it's, it's, not not equal equal it's not equal to. Okay, we already know this is three and this is negative three, right? We agree from number one? We yeah. stole those answers from number one? Yeah. Now, it's asking me for when is this V? I'll let you go ahead and copy it. Okay? It's asking me when is the, the first graph, the absolute value of x, when is it what than three? Greater than Greater. So it's greater where? Above or below the flat line? Above. Above. So you have to shade this. This is part of your answer. Shade, shade, shade. Shade, shade, shade. shade. That's greater, right? Which way on the number line is this one over here going? Greater. Which way? Greater. To the right. right. Oh. To the and right. this one's going to the left. Left. So that's a the analogy I used last week was chips or a drink. Okay, so it's shading away from each other. So it's how many graphs? Two. Two different graphs. X is gonna be what than negative three? Less than. Less than negative three. Or X is gonna be what than three? Greater than. Greater than three, good. Two separate graphs, two separate answers. Let's go ahead and jump to number six because obviously number six is just like number four as far as graphing. We can retrace it exactly like, but don't do your shading. Just put the graph. So we have absolute value of x and we have three and y2. Our graph looks exactly the same. Open or closed? Open. Open because it's not equal to this was three and negative three. Okay, and I'll stop and wait for you guys. Okay, this one says x, absolute value of x needs to be what in three? Less than. Less than, so that'd be that way. above it's or below, below the flat line? Below. below, so everything in the club below it. How many graphs is that? Two. Mm -mm. The one? Just one continuous graph, right? I never had to stop. It's all this. So it's everything in the middle, right? Sure. So in the middle on my number line. So since it's only one graph, one only one answer. X goes in the middle. Negative three and a three. <laughs> X is what the negative three? I'm so confused. Greater. Greater. And less. Than. And X is less than three. So What's x up? is greater than negative 3, x is less than 3. Okay, so greater than that one, so less than that one. If it's below, like less than, uh -huh. is it always going to be um, one continuous line? Unless, unless you have, there will be times when um, you are, say, the reciprocal, okay, or you have a negative. Like if I put negative absolute value of x, mm -hmm. it's gonna flip it, then below would be really above. So the best way to, to know it is if I shade and I can keep shading from one point to the next, then it's all one point. It'll mm -hmm. always be in the middle. Okay? Okay, great. All right, number five. First one is absolute value of x minus three, and y2 I put five. Any guesses before I even do it? If this is gonna be one or two graphs? Uh, it's gonna be two. It's gonna be two because? Because it's gonna be two. Did you just guess? Why? Um, because it's greater. Because or, great or. Remember, great or with an OR means chips or drink. If it was less than, okay, it'd be chips and a drink. So this should be split apart. Let's check it. Okay, here we go. Crank up handy dandy. Y equals? Clear, clear. 
But in our first one, mass menu, numbers, number one, absolute value of x minus 3, graph, and that's what it looks like. So let's rough sketch it. Okay. Now let's put the Can next one, five, and there it is. I see both intersections on there, so we should be good to go. So sketch, close circle or open? Close, why? Because it's equal to. Because it's equal to. Okay, and you said it's greater, so that means that shade above or below the line. Um, probably above. Above. So that piece and that piece. Okay, so that means this guy shades which way? That way. To the, right, the right. And this one to the? Other way. Left. So two different pieces. So X, we got to find the intersections. So second trace. Number five for intersect, enter, enter, enter. It's gonna find the closest one, which is negative two. negative two. We have to force it to find the other one. Second trace, number five. Move our cursor to the other side. Enter, enter, enter. And it says eight. eight. So, x is going to be what then negative 2? Uh, less than. Less than. Shaded in means equal to? Equal to. Negative 2. Or, x is going to be what then 8? Greater than. Greater than. Or equal to. Or equal to 8. As we can see, number 7 is the same graph as number 5. So, we just reproduce this graph at the bottom. So, absolute value of x minus 3 in y1, 5 in y2. Open or close circles on this guy? Uh, close. Closed. Uh, closed. Okay. It's equal to again. And we already oh, know okay. the numbers are negative 2 and 8. This one says we need the absolute value of x minus 3 to be what? Right, less than or equal to. Less than or equal to five, so that's below. So, we, so how many graphs is that? Two, one. One continuous graph. So it's in between, in between. So put my x in between, in between. In between. Negative two and eight. X has to be what the negative two? Less than. Greater than. Greater than or equal to. Negative two. But what the eight? Uh, less than. Less than or equal to eight. Don't worry about the other ones. If you guys got a good understanding of that, you don't have to worry about the other ones. It's just a, more of the same. Okay, what you're going to do for your lesson is on A1-8, you're gonna do one, three, four, and seven. One, three, four, and seven. Okay, again, the review will be up online as well as the answers if you need to go back and look at the review and work them out, compare your answers to those. Um, if not, if you're good with all of Unit 1, test this tomorrow. You can use your notes on the test. Did you ever grade this 3.5?